What up, what up, what up, family? Processing pain. How do we process pain? Where does pain live in our body? Where does it live in our throat, our minds, on our shoulders, in our stomach? When we're in pain, how do we handle that? Now this could be physical pain, psychological pain, spiritual pain, communal pain, intergenerational pain. Like we're walking in the world with a lot of wounds, right? Exposed and infecting, infecting one another with our diseases if we're not careful, right? And we're not mindful. Today I wake up trying to um, do the work, do the work that, that Alicia work of releasing. And I have my things, right? I have my process. I know what I have. I know what I walk with. And so I'm not too worried about how long I am going to hold pain because I know how to process pain. And I didn't always know how to do that, you know. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot of things today and words carry power, words carry energy. That's why I love being a writer, right? I know the power of words and I have this attraction to, to storytelling. And so today's story is about pain, yo. When we in pain, we quick to inflict it quick to inflict it if you're someone who does that right because there are people who suffer in silence and don't say anything and we don't even know the wounds that they have and the shit that they're walking with right we have no idea but then we have other people who are in so much pain that they spreading that shit everywhere they leaving it everywhere they dropping it everywhere they're putting it on everyone when I was younger and naive and still learning. I was quick to blame everyone, the world, my parents, my white people, um, my circumstance, the system, oppression, racism, sexism, um, homophobia. I was quick to blame specific groups for me feeling um, stomped on or less than because it was the truth I mean I think one of the things that I one of the things that inflicted the most pain on me has been men right it's been men has been Dominican men specifically and so that's shit that's taken decades to unpack and try to heal from you know when I talk about finding your force right my memoir finding your force a journey to love it's about you know, I love when people ask me, did you find your force? I'm like, motherfuckers, I'm still searching. It's a journey. It's a process. Evolution and processing pain is a journey and it takes time. But one of the things that I've had to learn, and, I, and I'm grateful to my spiritual practice for it, is um, how I process my pain, how I've learned to sit with it and hold it and meditate on it and make decisions about how I want to handle it. And I reserve the right to get it wrong. Absolutely, I'm fucking human. Every day is a new day for me to begin again. And today I'm beginning again. Yesterday's done. I'm done with yesterday. I'm done with everything that happened yesterday. Today is a new day. And today's all about introspection, right? As a teacher, as, um, as a spiritual person, as a mother, as a nurturer, as a, as a facilitator, as all the things that I move in the world with, I reserve the right to get it wrong. You know, I'm not above anyone or anything. But I am proud of myself. All day, every day. I'm proud of myself all day, every day. And you gotta say that to yourself. Are you proud of the work that you're doing? Or are you believing all the shit that people have said about you, that you would never be nothing, that you ain't never gonna be nothing, that you a piece of shit, that you this, that you that? You can choose to believe that. I could have chosen to believe that. Or I could choose love. 
and I could choose happiness. We all make choices every single day. Do we want to hold the pain that we walk with or do we want to try to heal it? I'm not saying that it's gone, erased, doesn't exist, and we pretend like it didn't happen, but I am a person who wants to move in the world feeling like I'm doing the work to survive it. I'm a survivor. For real, I'm a survivor, I'm a guerrera, I'm a warrior, and and I'm here to teach that, right? I'm here to teach that, I'm here to give that, and I do that. Doing the work, that's what I'm thinking about today. I'm thinking about doing the work, I'm thinking about what it is that I wanna put out the, in the world, what I wanna be remembered for, right? How I move, how I walk, how I speak, all of that matters to me. And it's not about respectability, it's just about the message that I want. I want to be heard, right? And I don't feel like I have to shout. I come from a Dominican house where I always had to fight to be heard amongst men, right? Everyone was shouting. Everyone was shouting. And I was told, you know, to take it down a notch that girls don't speak like that. Y yo no soy hombre. Aquí hay hombre. Aquí hay hombre. Aquí hay hombre. Girl, listen. Or boy, listen. Um... Processing pain, you know, we're in pain. Many of us are in pain. Many of us are in pain, and um, I don't know that there's like a quick fix for how to deal with that because there are systems in place that benefit from keeping us in pain, right? But every single day we have the opportunity to make a choice about how we want to deal with what it is that we're walking with. So how are you processing your pain? Are you in pain? What hurts? What hurts? Where does it live? Why does it hurt? Who's inflicted it? Right? And let's meditate. I'll take you through a meditation. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and let's take some deep breaths together. Let's breathe. Let's inhale. Let's exhale. Let's inhale. 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 Do you feel your chest opening up? Inhale. Clear your mind. The person who has caused me the most pain is, you know, you can pause this meditation at any moment to reflect, to journal, to think about what rises for you. Just go there. The person who has inflicted the most pain on me is what kills me is what hurts me is what has broken me is, what continues to trigger me is, mm. how I inflict pain on others is, the ways I fuck up are, I am not perfect, so I will allow myself room to breathe, forgive myself, heal, release, make amends, process, constantly lift myself, affirm myself, stand in all my power, because nobody can take my power, nobody. And my intention for today Remember who the fuck you are. I wish that for me. I wish that for you. Peace.